Butch Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Dinky Incas. High above the jungle in Peru, Clutch and company wing their way, ever watchful for a sign of an American expedition, headed by Professor Wingate Wofford. According to my information, Spinner, Professor Wofford was to have arrived at the lost Inca temple a week ago. He sent regular radio messages to his wife, and then suddenly the messages stopped. Naturally, the professor's wife became alarmed. And that's when they called us, huh? All right, Spinner. Two other men were with the professor, and they haven't been heard from either. <laughs> Oh, is it, boy? Oh, we see something, Clutch. Looks like the ruins of an Inca Indian village. Meanwhile, from the jungle below, two men hear Clutch's plane as it begins to circle overhead. Ah, oh, just our luck to have somebody come snooping around. Maybe they won't land, Puffer. Maybe they'll think the road is too rough. No such luck. Here they come. Now we gotta work fast. Grab that loudspeaker and let's go. Where to? To the temple. We can't let them find us or our goose is barbecued. We'll make a little pass over that road to see if we can land. What do you think, Clutch? It'll be bumpy, but we can make it. Here they come. Let's go. Okay, gang. All out. We're here. Gee, Clutch, how do you suppose this road got way out here in the jungle? It was probably built by the Incas who lived here 2,000 years ago. Golly! Let's take a look around. 2,000 years ago? Gee, do you suppose they still live here? Well, none of the original ones. Though it's believed some of the ancestors may still be living. You mean like cousins and aunts and uncles? Yes, Benny. Only they'd be great, great aunts and grandparents. Oh, 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 oh. Sounds like Paddlefoot found something. I think you're right. But go easy. This is strange country. Wow, wow. We're coming, Paddlefoot. Gee, somebody set up a camp. Right. And unless I miss my guess, it's Professor Wofford's camp. Look! There's a book on the table. The professor's diary. The last time he wrote in the book was just one week ago today. Listen, here's what he wrote. At last, we've reached the ancient Inca ruins. We've set up camp. My assistants, Popper Jones and Shiny Ford, have just left to explore the ruins of the temple. Is that all he wrote? That's where he stopped, Spinner. It was one week ago. <laughs> Sounds like Paddlefoot's found something else. Good old Paddlefoot. It looks like their food storage. Well, we can't learn any more by staying here. Let's head for that temple. Maybe we'll find something up there. Clutch! This is spooked! Huh? That book, the professor's diary. It's gone. I put it right there on the table when Paddlefoot barked. Do you... do you think this place is haunted? <laughs> no, Spinner. There are no such things as ghosts. Somebody took it. Let's go on to the temple. Are we going to climb way up there, Clutch? We sure are. They're coming this way, Papa. Let them come. We're ready for them. Get ready now. When they start up the steps, we'll clobber them. Let's climb to the top and have a look around. Sure is high. Hold it. Won't be long now. Just a few more steps. Ready? Now. Can Clutch and Company avoid being crushed by the falling idol? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Dinky Incas. You remember last time, Clutch and company had gone to the jungles of Peru in search of Professor Wofford and his expedition. Strange things began to happen at the professor's campsite. As they started up the steps of an ancient temple, we'll clobber them now. Ah, ah. Quick, Spinner. Idlefoot's found shelter. In there. Looks like an accident. Wow. That was close. 
You boys okay? I... I think so. Stay back, boys. I'll take a look outside. Well, that did it. All clear. But, Papa, you're all wrong. They're all right. I'll bet that statue didn't fall by itself. I think it was pushed. Let's find out. Here they come. Let's move. Keep your eyes open. Paddlefoot's already up where the statue was. Maybe he's found something. He sure has. Just as I thought. That heavy timber was used as a lever to topple that statue. Golly! Looks like they were playing for keeps. Now on, we've got to be doubly careful. Look, Paddlefoot's picked up their scent. Good boy, Paddlefoot. Go find them. Come on, Shiny. That mutt has spotted us. Grab that dog. Hurry, Shiny, or he'll catch us. Paddlefoot's hot on the trail of something. There he goes down that corridor. There's the sacred door. Hurry. The dog's right behind us. There's Paddlefoot. But he stopped. Must have lost the scent. Boy, he can't be right every time. We lost him. Yeah, but for how long? He'll follow us again soon as we leave here. We gotta get rid of them strangers like we did the professor. Right, before they discover that secret room with all the gold. Too bad the professor had to find it. Oh well, that's the way it goes. We'll keep looking. I don't blame him. It's pretty bad. Come on, boy. That mask won't hurt you. It's not alive. voice frighten Clutch and Company away, be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, the Dinky Incas. You remember last time, Clutch and Company climbed to the top of the temple to find the place deserted. Paddlefoot, however, managed to find the scent of two nasty men, Puffer and Shiny, who disappeared through a secret door. Suddenly... Go away. Here you will find nothing but trouble. Did you hear that, Clutch? It must be a ghost. There are no ghosts, Spinner. And certainly no ancient Inca ghosts who speak English. Leave us alone. Scare them all right. <laughs> I like to see the look on their faces. Oh, oh no. No, 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 Look. Look at what? Those eyes move. Those eyes in that statue. Have you lost your mind? I guess you're right, Papa. But I'd have sworn I... Come on now. We've got work to do. They'll be real scared, and I got a plan that'll fix them. We'll get out of here and start yelling for help. Suppose we run into that man with the kid and the dog. We'll run into them, all right. We'll call them and act like we just saw a ghost. We'll convince them we're good guys. Then, when they start to trust us, we'll do away with them. <laughs> That's good, Puffa. Okay, start yelling. Help! 
Listen. I hear something. Help! Somebody, anybody, help! Here they come. Act scared. Help! Help! Maybe it's the professor or our ghost. Wow, wow! There are two of them. Boy, do they look scared. Oh, kind sir. Am I glad to see you. I am Puffer Jones. And this is Shiny Ford. We arrived with Professor Wofford to inspect the ruins of this Inca village. A week ago, the professor disappeared. So many strange things have been happening. Take it easy. We'll try and help. We heard spirits talking. Then eyes began to move in the statues. Things have been disappearing. Oh, it's awful. Well, for a moment, we thought maybe you were the ghost we heard. Paddlefoot. Oh, no. We heard them, too. We've been hiding in these walls since the professor disappeared. Do you have any idea where Professor Wofford might be? We only know where he was when he disappeared. That's okay, boy. They're friends of ours. Could you show us the place from where the professor vanished? We can take you right to it, eh, Puffer? It's just down this corridor. Follow us. I wonder if it'll open. We'll give you a hand, Clutch. And to think they trust us. <laughs> Gee, Clutch, they pushed us. Not only that, we're locked in. This door won't budge. You mean there's no way to get out? How will Clutch and company find their way out? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Dinky Incas. You remember last time, Puffer and Shiny, two bad characters, tried to frighten Clutch and Company out of the temple. Pretending to be scared, Puffer and Shiny called to Clutch and Company, promising to help. They pushed us! We're locked in. There must be a way. But I don't see it yet. That's a good boy, Paddlefoot. But we've got to get this door open. We're trying, Paddlefoot. What is it, boy? What's the matter? There must be something, Clutch. Or Paddlefoot wouldn't insist like that. I wonder. Do you suppose these masks hold some secret about getting out of here? Try them anyway, Clutch. What do we got to lose? Nothing, Spinner. Here goes. I'll try this eye. Well, I'll be... Who'd have thought? Only Paddlefoot. He seemed to know. Let's not waste any time. This might be our way out. As Clutch and company make their way through the new opening and along the corridor, Puffer and Shiny have plans. Now that we've gotten rid of Professor Wofford and those meddlers too, the coast is clear for us to get that precious gold. Golly, Clutch. I have a feeling we're being watched every minute. I sort of feel it too, Spinner. But we can't stop. We must find out where this tunnel leads us. Walk quietly and keep your eyes open. Oh, hello there. Why, Clutch Cargo and Spinner, hello. Professor Wofford, thank goodness we found you. And by golly, you're all right. Sure, I'm all right. Been living here like a king with the help of the Dinky Inkers. Who? My little friends, the Dinky Inkers. You mean the ancestors of those ancient Inca Indian tribes? The same. Nicest and kindest bunch of people I know. Oh, they've sure been helping me. These little people have underground passages all through this temple. They even told me you were here. You mean they speak English? Perfect. Watch, I'll call them. Oh, Chief. Yes, Professor. Amazing. They found me locked in this room and brought me food, water, and all my equipment from our campsite. That's how the diary disappeared, Clutch. You mean my diary? Oh, they brought it to me this morning. I never would have suspected it. I almost started to believe in ghosts, the way your diary disappeared. Are you locked in here for good, Professor? Oh, no. I can leave whenever I wish. I haven't gone out because it's safe here. 
When I found out my two helpers, Puffer and Shiny, tried to do away with me, I decided to stay here. We're here. And we're ready to pick a bone with Puffer and Shiny, too. They pushed us through a one-way door. Excuse the intrusion, sir, but we have known about your every move. We have men planted behind every mask, and they can see through the eyes. So that's what Paddlefoot was barking about. Yes, and he almost caught some of us and nearly gave away our secret. If you don't mind, Professor, I think we should find Puffer and Shiny. I'm afraid they're up to no good. Come, we will show you the way out. Look, Clutch, daylight! What's all this stuff? That's our crop for the winter, mostly corn and beans. And they've learned how to grow giant popcorn. Looks like you'll have plenty of food. Earthquake clutch! Sure sounds like it. Take cover, everybody. The whole temple is shaking. Oh, this is the end. It's not an earthquake. It's a prehistoric monster. Is what they hear a real prehistoric monster? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, the Dinky Incas. You remember last time, Clutch and company found Professor Wofford in one of the tunnels. Then they met the dinky Incas, who showed them the way out of the temple. As they reached daylight... It's not an earthquake! It's a prehistoric monster! Rob, it's going to attack the temple! No, Spinner, that's not a prehistoric monster. It's a steam shovel, used for road building. I heard of someone building a new road not too far away. When the rainy season started, they abandoned their equipment. This must be some of it. It'll be a cinch to dig into that temple with this. Look who's driving it, Clutch! Those two men have pushed us in that room. Right, Spinner. Professor Wofford's assistants. My guess is they've found something of great value here. Like gold or precious stones. Now they've come to take it. My people, the Dinky Incas, will be very frightened of this giant. I must protect them. Look, Clutch. He started down the steps after the shovel. Stop him, Clutch. He'll be killed. The chief's trying to stop it. He's a brave little man. Clutch starts at him. Meanwhile, inside the shovel cab. Oh, boy, this will be good. Human beings against this mechanical monster. <laughs> let them have it, Papa. Right. Can't let one puny little guy stand in the way of millions of dollars of gold and precious stones. Help! Help! Help me! Help. Oh, I Help. can't look. Don't worry, Help Professor Wofford. Help! Watch, I'll save him. I'll wedge this branch into those tractor treads. We stopped. The treads must be jammed. Hey, Papa, there's that big guy. I'll dump this shovel right on top of him. Uh-oh. You got him. Papa, that meddling nut is digging them out. Don't worry. We'll bury them both. Hurry, Paddlefoot. Dig! Dig! My golly, Paddlefoot's done it. Clutch is out, and he's helping the dinky Inca chief. Hurry, Chief. Let's get out of here. Dagnabbit, we missed him. Those two maniacs are trying to batter down the temple. My golly, I've got an idea. Popcorn. Popcorn? We can't pop corn now. Clutch grabs a huge bag of corn, raises it over his head, and throws it. Bullseye! Watch this. In a matter of seconds, the popcorn starts to pop. Kimberly Crickets, let me out of here. After me. Golly, it's turning round. That thing's gone wild. So have Puffer and Shiny. Look. Ow. Ow. Save us. Ow. We've got to catch that shovel and turn it off. Ow. Save us. Stop him. Ow. Ow. I think they've had enough for one day. Now's your chance to cool off. You don't know how much I appreciate your coming to get me, Clutch. And if it worked for you, Mr. Cargo, and your pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, my people, the Dinky Incas, would never have found this long-lost treasure. Now we can live in peace and plenty. Well, thanks for those kind words. 
And as for those two crooks, they'll live in peace and plenty, too. Plenty of time. They won't be out in 20 years. It sure serves them right. And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Dinky Incas. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.